Show. You know. You know. Oh. Alt 98.7. All in or all out. LA's new alternative. Of this program will be recorded. This is the morning show. And we are into another new hour. Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It's Thursday morning. It is May the 2nd, 2024. Thank you for being here. Woody, Ravy. Yes. Got, uh, Greg Gorey. Hi. There's Menace. Hi. T-Bass is here. What? We've got Sammy. Good morning. Uh, phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987. It's, uh, it's been a minute. We've heard you asking for a round of Woody Show Weakest Link. It's been mm-hmm. so long. And so that's happening this hour. <laughs> yeah. Nice. yeah, so Woody Show Weakest Link will be All happening right. a little bit later on in the hour here. Um, yeah, I, it, it, Greg's hosting. Yes. Right. There's a new yeah. host. I'm, I'm, which <laughs> Bort was uh, disappointed in. Why? Because he loves it when you host. No. He's the only one. No, I, no, I love it when Menace yeah, hosts. No, it's fun. No, I've never wanted to host. But uh, Greg has like so game show it. host dreams. Like He loves game shows. I have mm-hmm. game show announcer dreams. Mm. I think hosting would be borderline oh, yeah, scary. Right. Announcer. Yeah. That would be fun. There are yeah. a lot of moving parts when you're the host. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And I'm nervous about today because it's been so long that we've done this. And, and I think yeah. my questions might be too easy. We'll see. Oh, well, easy. All right. We'll see. Darn. We'll actually get some right. <laughs> what? Boo. Yeah, b- breakfast coming at you. Oh, yeah. As the host, are you promising breakfast? <gasps> I mean, be- I, I guess I have it's to. your duty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if, if we reach the uh, the threshold, right? Yeah. Which see, is... now when I've hosted it, I just buy breakfast for everybody, regardless of how we do. Right. Because you know, mm-hmm. I'm just that kind of host. <laughs> but, Wait, has he ever hosted? Have you ever hosted yes. Week is Yes, I, I have. Yes, I have. It was that little uh, twink we had here for a while, then it was Madison. No, and that's been it. I, I, I have hosted a round. We did a, the Week is was... Link rounds. Really? Uh, yeah, because it was like we did like a like a throwback one. But that remember? was just throwback trivia. Yeah, yeah that, that wasn't, wasn't, yeah. wasn't that wasn't Week is Link it branded. Wasn't official. Yeah, you may, yeah, you, you may have yeah. cribbed onto it, but it wasn't an official Week is Link round. But yeah, it was, there it was, was the like same con- style. There was contests. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we, we used some of it for some food. Of, some it was the outlets. same style. Yeah, but yeah I just didn't yeah. make you guys like jump through hoops the way that you know other people have in the past. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Greg, I want caviar and lobster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's got to be a Greg style breakfast. Yeah, too. Oh, okay. yeah. Lo- lots and of pate. Dom Perignon. Yeah. Dom Perignon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming up uh, this hour. Uh, I'm really excited about this Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight. The, the more I see, and the, I keep <laughs> oh, about, now that I it's know. officially sanctioned, the, it's I officially mean, sanctioned. Yeah, yeah, the purists hate it, but I think it'd be fun, purists. especially when it's on Netflix. It's so easy to access. Why well, not pop it on? I don't know. I think I just think it'll be fun, and I still believe that Mike Tyson will win this fight. Ah, uh, I mean that's great, <laughs> but. But yeah, what, what, I think what the Woody what he's hoping for is he pops off his Jake Paul's head. Ah, right. Yeah, probably. It's, it's just not going to happen. Uh, have you watched the videos? Yeah, this again. Mike Tyson had the same fight videos four years ago when he fought Roy Jones Jr. and it was a, a you know a snore fest. Yeah. Well, he's fifty-seven. Yeah, oh, sure. exactly. Just doesn't help your case. Yeah. Right. right. That, yeah. That's the case right there. But I think he's. I think he's an exception in so many ways. All right, Seabass, what's your prediction on it then? Uh, my prediction is it'll be a lot like all these other, uh, you know, Mayweather fights these mm-hmm. days. All the other exhibition fights. Is dancing. There? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dancing, hugging, little, little taps. Yeah, little taps. Mm. Like who was it? Jake or Logan that fought Mayweather? I forget. But, it was Logan. Yeah, it was just, yeah, it was like, hey, I'll, we'll, we'll keep this interesting, but we're not going to kill yeah. each other. Yeah, 31-year yeah. okay. age gap. But still, damn. I, like, when's the last time I got excited about a fight of any kind? Never. You know, that's the thing. It's like, cool, man. This reminds me, this is like, uh, talk about throwback Thursday. This is a this is a throwback <laughs> yeah. to getting excited about a Tyson fight. Oh, very. And I'm going to get mm-hmm. the fight. But you got to view it. it. Mike He's Tyson's a, not yeah. immune to, you know. Being out of shape mm. or uh, or being fifty seven, yeah, he almost you know? sixty. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I don't want to put any money in Jake Paul's pocket, so that's why I'm not watching. Right. Also, yeah, yeah. Uh, Revy, are you betting on the Kentucky Derby? That's this weekend. I'm. I don't really know who's running. I'll take a look into it. Um, my brother's going to be there. Mm-hmm. I was talking to him the other day. He's like, "Yeah, look for me. I'm going to be on Millionaire's Row." Nice. I'm like, 
Okay. <laughs> it's like going to be hanging with Tom Brady. Now, is that nice? The, is that okay. the booth? Is that the, people say you want to be on the field, not up in the uh, booths or the, it, the boxes, right? It's up in the boxes. The millionaires are up in the boxes, right? But and the reason mm. they the reason they call it Millionaires Row is because you have a million dollar view of the finish. Okay. Well, I was going to say, I think you you need to raise it like a billion dollars. Because oh, yeah, right. <laughs> like a million dollars is not what it used to be. You have a yeah. million dollar view yeah. of the finish. Uh, you know, let's see, right now, yeah. uh, who's the favorite? You got, Sierra Leone, who's uh, three to one, mm-hmm. fierceness five to two. It is then, the most exciting two minutes in sports. That's then, not uh, a lie. Ca- catching freedom eight to one. Everything else is ten to one, twenty to one, thirty to one, fifty to one. But I'm like, geez, Michael, you've really advanced. I mean, we used to go to mm-hmm. the Preakness, which is the armpit of the Triple Crown, and like hang out in the infield. Yeah. And bring like coolers. You start from the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Now we here. Right, exactly. Yeah. The Preakness uh, is uh, all you can drink. There's all you can drink. Several options, in fact. And like Ravi's saying, it's just a big field. Everyone's hammered. Yeah. You're not even watching the show. I think you know you're just getting hammered and uh, hanging out. Yeah. Sounds you know good. the part that I care about is the food. And um, I did so on Goldbelly.com. Not a sponsor, but could be where you you buy food from all over the country. They have a Kentucky uh, Kentucky Derby button. For all these different food options, so oh, yeah. I sent some food oh. to my my mom and my grandmother. I got them the uh, Chef Kelly's Fields Southern Brunch. Ooh, oh, oh, nice. Breakfast wow, breakfast wow. Oh, nice. How about some mint julep? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, mint julep yeah. is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so not bad. Because yeah. yes, it's weird mixing. Bourbon with mint and sweetness. Mm. It was yeah. so disgusting. Yeah. I took like a big done. slug of it, and I was like, oh, God. <laughs> this is heinous. You got a beautiful hat it. on, Ravy? Uh, you got no. your derby hat? No, no, no. no. I was, uh. I forget where I was sipping mint juleps, but it wasn't at a. Gross. Hey, y'all. At a horse race. Oh, okay. All right, so you bet, right, Rave? Yeah. You bet the derby? I will, I'll send my bets to my brother since he'll be on site. Dude, this uh, guy in North Carolina, he got a call from his sister. The sister had said, hey, I had this dream that you had found a bunch of gold. Ooh. So he's like, all right. So he goes <laughs> and he buys a lottery ticket, and he won a, uh, a big jack, $837,000. Damn. <laughs> Damn, dog. Because of a dream. He plans wow. to uh, give some of the money to his church and mm-hmm. pay some bills. Dumb. Okay. <laughs> yeah, how dumb. Yeah. You don't want I mean, to pay, pay off the that bills. credit card. Don't but pay the church. bills. It's fine. You're going to give your money. Come yeah. on. Have you ever had a dream like it's that? It's cool. Maybe he can say that, but maybe he won't actually. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had a dream like that where you dreamt something and then next day like it came true? If it did, no. I, don't I, I tried to talk to the dream interpreta- uh, interpreter about that, uh-huh. right. um, but she cut me off. She, she's like, oh, that's not my, my thing. Yeah. But yeah. it did happen yeah, to yeah, me yeah. one time with my coworker where I had a dream uh, that I was sitting in the office and he was wearing a certain jacket. I go to work the next day. He's wearing that jacket, sitting in the same place. I was like, dude, wow. in dream, you told me your girlfriend was pregnant. Oh. And then uh, once I said that to him, he's like, dude, I haven't told anybody. His eyes like what? exploded. What? He's like, my girlfriend is yeah. pregnant. <laughs> what? Well, dude, there was this other, another one from North Carolina. A lot of luck going on. A lot of rabies luck there. Mm-hmm. 18-year-old guy. You know, so he's only 18, doesn't have much experience playing the lottery. And uh, he got a gut feeling. Okay. And so he was at this convenience store, and he bought this $20 big cash payout. It's a scratch-off. But never. And uh, he scratched, and it turns out he won $2 million. Yeah, so he's going with the uh, the cash option. And uh, yeah, he's gonna get to see eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars after taxes. Wow! And says has no uh, concrete plans yet for the uh, for the money, but he wants to use it wisely. Good, oh. dude. yeah, good for him, dude. You're eighteen. You're 18. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, now, Greg, you're gonna hate this. What? If you just put that into an investment right now, yep, like a good mm-hmm. mutual fund mm-hmm. investment right now, mm-hmm. like this kid's gonna be multi, multi, multi millionaire by the time he retires. Yeah. Why would That's I what he that? should do Why would Greg 18? hate that? Why would I because hate you don't like the idea of like winning the lottery and investing it. You've said that before. No, when it's a windfall, like yeah, 200 like, million. Like we're talking about the famous billion dollar yeah. ones that we've yeah. had lately. Not invest in I'm any not of that. In that. Oh, I still would. No way. You don't need to. You don't need to, but uh, talk about like uh, generational. I mean, good for you. You still yeah. will. That's great. I'm going to blow it. <laughs> <laughs> Craig has no heirs. Well, you got to work yeah, fast, no right? God knows how much time you got left. I got Precisely. maybe two years. Oh, I know this yeah. isn't specifically money related, but uh, Menace is asking if you're going to get him an autograph for Sarah Jessica Parker while you're at the Kentucky <laughs> Derby. Oh, yeah, you should probably oh, oh, I did 
did not say that. Good God. That was not my statement. That was Seabass. Damn. Woody Show. How come it's signed M E N A Z E? Wow. N A Z E. Sorry. Not cool, dude. Well, hey, Ravy, ask your ask your brother to bring a bag of apples on behalf of Menace. <laughs> okay. You know, warm, warm her up. Yeah, I did up, not yeah. request that. Do, she, yeah. do, do Woody we know she, of the Woody Show? Do we okay. know if she likes soft apples or like those nice crisp ones? <laughs> oh. I think she likes a good Fuji. Yeah. Ooh, some yeah. sugar cubes. Oh. You know what else? Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker and all the other horses like they like those little Starlight mints. I didn't say any. Menace. Yes. Yes. What the hell, man? Yeah. Weird. At Menace yeah. on all social media right. platforms. Because <laughs> you say Menace, did you say that? And he goes, no. Yeah, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. the other day we were talking about something, and Menace is like, well, he wanted us to, because we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. He's like, okay, everybody, hold your Sarah Jessica <laughs> Parkers. Right. That was <laughs> just rude. I have never <laughs> said that it statement. Took it just shocking. It took yeah, me a yeah. minute to get what he was going for, but then I was like, yeah. wow. I no. was like, not cool. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Well, since it is uh, the Kentucky Derby uh, every year, I love this clip. I've, it makes only sense to play it like right around the Kentucky Derby. This is a, a marriage horse race. It's like one of those things that I heard. I thought what? was so funny. Yeah. So like it's a it's just a joke that somebody put together. It's a okay. it's a horse race call the call of a horse race. Okay. But it's all about like anybody who's married will be able to relate to this. Here we go. Welcome to the third race at the Honeymoon is Over Downs. They're at the gate, and they're off. Jumping out in the lead is Romance and Affection, with Domestic Bliss in close behind. It's Romance and Affection and Domestic Bliss. Here comes Marriage Vows, followed by Immediate Child. Romance and Affection falling off quickly. Mortgaged up the ass, overtaking Domestic Bliss. And here comes Nasty Attitude, followed by More Children and Drinking Heavily. Coming down the backstretch, Drinking Heavily, moving out in front of Mortgaged up the ass. But coming on strong on the outside is Credit in Shambles. It's Credit in Shambles, followed by I Don't Give a sh Nasty Attitude, and Up Yours Keep. Up Yours Keep, challenging for a second, going into the clubhouse turn. Passing on the rail is I Don't Give a sh taking the lead. Followed by the f***ing house. You cook like and I f*** your brother. Here they come, spinning out of the turn. I Don't Give a sh still in front. Up Yours Keep, challenging for the lead. Up Yours Keep, and I Don't Give a sh neck and neck. And down the stretch they come. Up Yours Keep is pulling away from I Don't Give a by a link. Coming on strong is I am out of here, and passing the pack is the f***ing house. And at the wire, it's up yours. Keep the f***ing house. I don't give a sh and I am out of here. <laughs> That's about how it goes, right? Yeah. Ball yeah. and chain. All right, what do you show weakest link is coming up next? Yeah. Greg and his hosting yeah. duties. Let's see how that goes. That's next on the Woody Show. And then I went to the bathroom, and I came back. The plan had totally changed. Totally different experience. Hold on, are we with the Woody Show right now? We'll be right back.